The books have come away from a point this afternoon with the one one draw Alfton Town in the National League North and I've managed Gavin Cowan with me. Um, Gavin, I imagine after that performance you're, you're probably feeling, well I don't know how you're feeling, disappointed not to take all three points. Yeah, I mean I've just said to the guys on the radio there, you know, they're, they're very complimentary of the performance with a dominant in and out of possession I felt. Um, and yeah, it's just it's disappointing because we just don't get what we deserve. I felt like it was uh, three points uh, on, on the uh, on the table for us, but yeah, just not not to happen today. Uh, but you know, I can't fault the lads in their performance. Sure, okay. I mean, obviously, the the sending off for Daniel had over two yellow cards in the first half. We were sitting very close to you, and we could hear the messages were you know don't change anything, keep keep things as they no, are. It's and... important for me. Yeah, I think you know when you go a man down, it's not to the three men you know where you can just get exploited. Players have to work a little bit harder, higher up the pitch, but you can still get your numbers all over. Yeah, it was about not changing. It just meant that Amari and, and uh, Daryl just needed to split the difference a little bit more and just maybe you know work that a little bit smarter, which I just gave them a bit of direction on. And, and it was yeah, it was it's, nothing has to change. And I felt as though we were we we'd, we'd, we'd won the battle by that time and we were starting to come more into the game. So I didn't feel like anything had to change. Certainly in, in terms of the front line. Sure, got a terrific boost just a few minutes into the second half with Shane putting it. Shane sort of put you into the lead and then I mean, it was still positive from there on there wasn't any suggestion of shutting up shop you know you, you're no, looking no, no, to no. go for it yeah no no I, you know my belief is that you know 10 against 11 doesn't you know how many times have people who know or play football or watch football how difficult it becomes when um, thanks Mark uh, how difficult it becomes you know when, um, when you play against 10 men and I just felt as though our quality was that much better than Alfreton and I felt as though that because we've gone down to 10 men psychologically they feel like they could come out and we'd get more chances um, so if anything I was even more on the front foot and I was you know like I said to the players at half time you know we were excited and we felt like Daniel had been harshly dealt with um, in the sending off and we sort of owed it to him a little bit having scored 12 goals this season that we needed to sort of um, you know get him out of the mess sure okay I mean thinking about the last three performances um, I mean they've They've all been probably more at a level that you're sort of like hoping for the lads to be at on a consistent basis, I would think. I just think that, you know, what's missing is we're just not taking our chances. We just, you know, the last three games we've completely dominated teams and we've had numerous chances. It's not as if, it's not as if we're not creating anything, we're creating, we're just not clinical enough, and that's the problem. We've just said in there that, you know, this, this football club, you know, we have, a, we have a certain budget that we're not going to look negatively at, but it isn't anywhere near what some of the teams are, and it's, it's probably one of the least worst three in the league maybe, um, give or take. Uh, so, so we say anything 14th and above is going to be a success because that's where we finished last year but the lads have got aspirations in that changing room of what they want to do and what I just said to them was that if they, if they, if they feel like they, they want to continue to hit that target then they're going to need to start turning some of them one point into three points. Sure, OK. Um, so another home game to come now, Boston United next week and they're a team I think probably still slightly above you in the league but you know unbeaten home record still we're looking to carry that on very much like today you know I want to say like you know Billy Heath's teams they're, they're so tough to play against you know they're always so combative and um, you know hard working and, and that was why I was proud of the lads today because they came in and they won a battle um, you know he's probably the most successful manager at this level in the last five years and so to come up against him was a real pleasure and an honour because he's, um, he's a lovely guy as well but um it was tough to come here and get that point. So that, that's the first thing. And, and the second thing is you're playing against a team quite like-minded. You know, they've, they've, they've got that bit of quality in midfield. I've been watching them, and you know, a friend of mine plays for them as well. So he's um, been keeping a close eye uh, on, on their, their, um, their team with next week's game in mind. So it's going to be a very, very tough game, um, and, and one that we won't be taking lightly like today. So, but I feel as if the players can be reliable, efficient, um, committed work hard, show desire, do a job and a half like they did today. I just, I just think that there's, there won't be many teams that can live with us when we, when we start to become that bit more clinical. Sure. OK, that's great. Cheers, Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Cheers. mate. Thank Cheers. You.